Okay, the big red curly puppies. They are all goldy puppies. This one, and that one. They're gonna end up about her size, that's Buffy. So the big, three big red curly puppies. So we're talking about these guys. We'll just remove this one here with the wavy coat, wavy flat coat. She's actually micro petite. She's an adult. She just hit five pounds. So we'll just, so now you can see these three better. Playing with Miss Buff. Miss Buff there has a semi curly to a wavy coat. So these puppies will be curlier. They're learning the bell. They are eight weeks old. Brothers and sisters just started going home. So that's part of their training. Go in there. Yeah, so we can see you guys. Oh, love it when they frog lay like that. Means they have good, healthy hips. Isn't she adorable? You're adorbs. Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, somebody has to adopt these or I'll end up keeping them. They are gorgeous. So these three all have curly coats. Came from a litter at 11. And curly coat. Okay, so the difference between a curly and a wavy. If it was, uh, this one's curly. So you can see curly coat, um, maybe wavy to slightly curly, but you can still just see how the curls, it just makes them look more like a teddy bear. Uh, they require the same amount of grooming because their fur is still growing about the same amount. They don't mat. Uh, and they don't really because they're, um, it's kind of like a fur. It's not like a stringy hair type feeling. It's very soft. Uh, but it, you can see how it makes them look more like a teddy bear. You know, like a stuffed animal with the fur sticking up versus laying flat like the way your coat. <laughs> you guys are warm. Oh, yeah? Tell me about it. Oh, she's a big girl. Oh, no, she really. I'm the littlest girl. I'm a teeny tiny. Uh, say my dad is 15 pounds, granddad 18 pounds. And then you have the mom, who's golden. So uh, these guys like this littlest one, they stay around 25. And then you have the next one about 28 pounds. And then you had the bigger one, they get 30, 32. That one there with the black ribbon. So black ribbon that you can hardly see there. Now look at the knees, Sparty, so I get them all straight. Make sure I don't get confused. Goldie here. You have these purple string right here. So she was the middle size little sweetie. That's Ginger. Ow. You got my toes, little girl, with the white. That's Gabby. She had a little Gabby, so that means that's Galaxy. Galaxy? No, sorry. Gemma has the black ribbon. The galaxy's already gone. So black ribbon here is Gemma. Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. And uh, that's Gabby that has all the white on her head and nose and chest. But you got don't, don't, don't get my toes again. You're getting my toes. And then the purple ginger. Petite wants out of the grooming shop. She's like, I'm going to get those puppies. Get that dog. You just want somebody to play with. You're even trying to make a little girl. Look at her. Here I am, I want to play. Do you want to play? Here's me. Here, lick my toes. Wait, look at my toes. Tickles. 
Can you sit for attention? Sit. Dad, the good girl, just sit for attention. Say, I'm a good girl. Oh yeah, Gabby, good girl. Are you learning paw too? Yeah, so we clip your nails, you give me one paw and then you give me another. And you've got the soft mouth going on, the little soft chew. Just don't hurt, you're just little gumming me. I love you, yes you are. And then the one, little frog here, a frog is Ginger. Ginger, you are frog. You like that cold ground. The rest of you haven't calmed down enough yet to stretch out. Okay, you are the one with the black ribbon. Yeah. Oh, look at that face, and you're sitting for attention. They're learning manners because we don't want them jumping on us. So we do teach them that at a young age. I mean, as in, as soon as they can walk. Look at this. Oh, look at it. I want to play, but I want to lay. I don't know what I want. Yeah. And look at her lay like a frog, too. Did you my froggy? Are you my little frog, too? Yeah. Oh, there's another little frog. And the other one hasn't collapsed yet. So that's Gemma. I talk in a baby voice because puppies respond to a baby voice just like babies do. Just like baby do. What do you hear? What do you hear? Why is that? Why is that, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys are so cute. Mama can't hear one. Ginger. I love her short nose. Oh. You guys are going to be adorable. You're swagger in. No, I can't help it that you're out here. Come on, little corky baby. <laughs> Heard another one that's still awake. They need to get in there and take a little nap. These little babies are only five weeks old, so. We have little babies in here, too. Why don't you quit getting the little babies? So these are three girls that Goldie has. They're all adorable. <laughs> Buffy, did you scare her? So Buffy's my big party girl, my old girl there. Yeah, she's six years old, retired breeder. You guys are all adorbs. Okay. I have to go. The next customer is going to be arriving and you guys need to go back to your kennel. Okay, bye-bye.